In this tutorial, I will show you how to use version control with Unity. We will use Git as the version control system and GitHub as the platform to share our files. So first of all, why should you use version control? The first reason is that you can collaborate between team members. You can have a backup system and you can always go back when something gets lost. You can basically sync files between different computers. We will upload this project to GitHub so that another team member can get all the project files. So for that, we need a GitHub account. So go to github.com and sign up. If you already have a GitHub account, sign in and then we meet you on the other side. All right, here I am in GitHub and what I need to do now is create a new repository by pressing the new button. Then I simply add a repository name and the only setting I choose here is make it private. I don't do anything else. Then I click on create repository and then I need to add my collaborators. So I click on invite collaborators and click on add people and I enter the email of my collaborator. All right. I add Catherine to the repository and that's all I need to do in GitHub. I only go to the code and what I need to do is copy the URL to clipboard. And that's all I need to do in GitHub. In the next step, we're gonna use a desktop application called AnchorPoint to upload our Unity files to GitHub and to download them. So for that, simply go to anchorpoint.app and then click on product, download. It will ask you to create an account. So do this quickly if you haven't so, I already have one so I can simply log in, download the corresponding version, and once you downloaded the application, just double click to install it. So once the application is downloaded, simply log in with email. So we start at the projects page and we'll create a new project. We will choose Git repository and then browse to the folder of our project. In this case, I have the following project structure. So this is basically the main folder of my project. And then I have a pre-production folder where I have things like references, like moods. I have an assets folder where I have, for example, all my Blender files. And then I have an engine folder where I have all my Unity files. And because my project is small enough, I will put everything into the Git repository. If you have a bigger project in sizes of gigabytes and terabytes, you should split it that only the engine is then part of your repository and everything else is on another file sharing platform. So in this case, we're gonna use the whole project. We click on select folder and we need to pick a Git ignore in this case. So a Git ignore is basically excluding certain files from being uploaded to GitHub. And these can be, for example, cache files, build results, so everything that is generated on your local computer. So we will choose the template for Unity and then we add the remote repository URL. And this is the one which we copied over from GitHub. Then we click on continue, we leave the name as it is, we click on continue, and we would like to invite the same member that we invited to GitHub here in Anchor Point as well. And we click on send invite, and then we click on create project. So now Anchor Point is creating basically a Git repository within our project. So here we have the product tree, and then we go to the timeline, and we would like to upload all these files to GitHub. So we click on the change files, and then we would maybe add this to a list view, and we want to enter a meaningful message. In this case, this could be edit Unity project, and then press push. So if you do this for the first time, you will be asked to log into GitHub from AnchorPoint, and this is telling AnchorPoint that you have all the permission to upload your files to that repository. All right, all the files are now on GitHub. So this is what you as a team member have to do. So first of all, accept the invite from GitHub, which is coming to your mailbox by simply accepting the invitation. Then the next thing is go to AnchorPoint, install the application as well. And when you open this, you will get a pop-up that somebody is inviting you to the workspace. Simply join that invitation. And here you are asked to join the Git repository. You want to join this and tell AnchorPoint where should you download all the project files. We'll go to browse and pick the folder which has to be empty, and then we click on join. And now it will clone the Git repository, which means it will download all the files. And if you do this for the first time, GitHub will ask you to log in and we simply click on sign in with your browser. Then it will clone all the files. So in the timeline, we can see that this is the commit that I have made before. So now how to work together. Let's go back to me myself. So here in Unity, let me make some changes. I just want to move some bricks around. And then all I need to do is save the scene by pressing Ctrl S. Then I open up Anchor Point and then I simply click on Changed Files. I have the file here that got changed and I simply say and press push and that's basically all. And this is the whole workflow in a nutshell. So your team member on the other side will get a notification that somebody pushed a new commit and then press pull. And this is how you get also the changes from the server.
So one thing to add, if you work with large files, GitHub can get pretty expensive, especially because you have to buy large file storage here. And in this case, you can also look for a GitHub alternative. You may heard of GitLab, Bitbucket, but there is also Azure DevOps from Microsoft, which is not that popular. But Azure DevOps is good in this case because it provides free LFS file storage. When they announced the Git LFS, they added unlimited free storage for all their repositories. So it's definitely worth to check out Azure DevOps as an alternative for GitHub. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.